All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Spencer FC Game Academy, episode four today. We've got five guys left in the academy currently. We're gonna be getting rid of someone else. We'll be left with four players. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna be putting these guys up against a very, very top quality Ultimate Team player and see how they do. Let's go meet him. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Spencer FC Game Academy. Just five of you left in the process now. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking that number down to four. How we're gonna be doing that is you're each gonna be taking someone on at FIFA, much like in the first episode when you played against me. This time though, you will be playing against another Spencer who's a little bit better at the game. Let me introduce Mr. Spencer Ealing, AKA Huge Gorilla. How you doing, mate? I'm good. Now, if you don't know who this guy is, you need to get to know him. He is the best Ultimate Team player in the world. That's not my opinion, that is fact. You've proved it time and time again. He's the current uh, champion of Play Like A Legend. He won season one, and he won the whole grand final last year. So if you want to get good, you want to be an esports player, this is the sort of person you're going to come up against. Now, guys, I don't necessarily expect you to beat Huge Gorilla, but we are going to be looking at your performances, how you play, the tactics you use, how much potential you have. I'm going to be chatting to Spence after the game, get some advice from you, who you think's got what it takes, and we're going to use that advice to make a decision and lose one of you from the process. So don't go easy on them, Spence. You've got to prove yourself as the best as well. I'll, I'll try my best. It'll be interesting to see um, how they play and uh, see what tactics they're going to use. Excellent stuff. Let's play some FIFA, guys. So for Greg's team, we've got Aguero and Tevez up top. We've got Donovan, the legend behind him. We've got Zola, another legend in midfield with De Bruyne. We've got Ramsey in defensive midfield. And at the back, we've got Azpilicueta, Otamendi, Company, Klein, and Courtois in goal. On Huge Gorilla's team, we've got legend Best, legend Laurent Blanc, and legend Rude Hullet. Team of the year, Ramos. It's an awesome team. Okay, here we go. Greg is taking on Huge Gorilla. Greg's playing in the West Ham kit. Good choice. Gorilla's in the green. Spence on the ball with Rude Hullet into Neymar, who turns his man. What a tackle there from Vincent Company, but he gives it back to Huge Gorilla, who can score, does score. And it's 1-0 to Huge Gorilla after five and a half minutes. OK, 1-0 to Huge Gorilla. Can Greg come back and get a goal? Aguero on the ball. Doing well, dribbling through. Oh, here's Neymar on the ball. Huge Gorilla with a chance. Is he going to whip it in? He's holding on to it. He doesn't even need to put it into the box. He walks his way through. George Best. Chance here for Gorilla. Turns. Is he going to hit it? Oh, it's in the back of the net and it's 2 0. And that was patient build up from the huge Gorilla. Greg, 2 0 down now. Chance for Gorilla. Oh, wow. wow. What a strike. Rooney with a goal. 3 0. Ronaldo on the ball for Gorilla. Easily dealing with Nathaniel Klein. He's still got it. He's just walking his way into the box. Oh, my word. He's still got it. Is he going to play it inside? Is it goal number four? It is goal number four. What strength, what power from Ronaldo made Nathaniel Klein look like a kindergarten kid to Rude Hullet. Legend to legend pass back to George Best. He's going to look for a long ball over to Ronaldo. It's a lovely ball. Ronaldo brings it down with an excellent first touch. It's going to be a penalty and a chance for Gorilla to make it 5-0. George Best is going to hit it. Is he going to score? Oh, he's saved. Oh, it's OK. That's worth remembering. He did save a penalty against Huge Gorilla, Greg. And there's the final whistle. 4-0 to Huge Gorilla. I lost 4-0 to a world champion. That's not too bad. I had a few chances which I could have put away. OK, so we've got Jack now and his team. We've got Inform Benzema up top. We've got Ribéry, we've got Bale, we've got Modric. We've got legend Effenberg. Here we go. Jack versus Huge Gorilla. Jack's in the yellow, Gorilla's in the purple Bordeaux kit. Best on the ball for Gorilla, does well, cuts inside, he's dangerous here, he's going to shoot, oh, it's oh. a deflection! It may or may not have gone in anyway, but the deflection has made it impossible for the keeper to save. George Best on the ball, he goes past one, passes it inside for Griezmann, who might make it for a cutback. He's still got it, finds Best, Best turns, oh, what a goal from Gorilla! The definition of composure there. Trying to get it on that right foot for a shot, he's going to hit it. Oh wow, another long ranger with Wayne Rooney. Gorilla is absolutely lethal with Rooney. Plays inside to Benzema, who goes past his man. Chance for Jack, he's going to hit it. Oh, he's going to score, surely! He gets a goal. We have a goal against Huge Gorilla. Jack has oh, scored one. it. Three, <laughs> one. Gareth Bale. Chance for uh, Gorilla here. Rude Hullet for Neymar. Oh, it's nice. Back to Hullet. Oh, it's lovely. And it's 4-1 and it's poetry in motion. Oh, is Huge Gorilla going to get a goal? He's going to try. He's passing it around everyone. Uh, again, Jack that. gets that last. Oh, it's a oh. penalty. Wait, what? Chance to make it 5-1. Neymar versus Neuer. Gorilla hits it. 
and scores it, and it's 5-1. Ronaldo on the ball for Gorilla. Surely not six. He hits it, and it is 6-1 in the 87th minute. The final whistle's going to go any second. There it is. It's 6-1. Jack got himself a goal, but he did concede six of them. I did score a goal against to basically the best player in the world, so I'm happy with that. Kieran's team has got in from Benzema, and Neymar, Bale, Vidal, Rakitic, Modric, Alaba, Boateng, Ramos. Obviously, we've got Spencer with that legend trio of best, Hullet, Blanc, and Team of the Year, Ramos, as well as Neymar. Here we go, Kieran versus Spencer. Kieran's in that black Division One winning kit, and uh, Gorilla in the lime green. Into Rooney. Rooney's going to spread it out wide to Alba on the left-hand side. He's got loads of space. Alba comes in, goes back out again, and back in again. Oh, it's lovely stuff from Alba. You don't know where he's going. It's a great ball in. It's a lovely goal. Oh, full swim in the box. He's going to hit. Shot. Goal wow. for Kieran. He makes it one all in the 19th minute. It fell to him quite nicely in the box there, but he had to take the chance with Benzema. Vidal, nice pass into Ronaldo. Nice turn for Kieran. Is he going to shoot? He's hit it. Almost going 2-1 up. Alaba with a corner, whips it in, it's a header and it's 2-1 to Kieran against Huge Gorilla. What a turn up we have here, this is the first time we've seen Gorilla go down in a game. Neymar into Di Maria, Gorilla looking to get an equaliser, oh, he's going through with Di Maria, he's going to score this and it oh, is 2-0. Wow. Tevez, is he going to play it or is he going to keep going, ball in for Ronaldo, chance, it's 3-2 oh, wow. to Kieran with 10 minutes left. <laughs> this is unbelievable stuff from Kieran here. Wow against Gorilla. Best. He's going to look to deliver it. He goes round one, goes round two, puts it in. It's a great tackle, but it falls to Ronaldo and Gorilla makes it three all <sighs> almost instantly. Oh, he finds Ronaldo, who tries to pass it over to Nangolan. He's still got it. Nangolan for Ronaldo. Is he going to strike it? He does. He scores again. It's 4 3 to Kieran. What a strike from Ronaldo. Kieran is making a performance here that is going to send waves for the Spencer FC Game Academy. Oh, days. <laughs> Gorilla has to do something right now if he's going to get back in this. And no, okay. the final whistle is gone. Kieran gets yeah. a win against the Play Like Legend champion, Huge Gorilla. I completely surprised myself. I, I, I didn't expect to win that game 4 3. I, I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, good result. Here we go. Chris now taking on Huge Gorilla. Let's take a look at Chris's team. He has informed Benzema. He has three legends Effenberg, Blanc, and Van der Sar. He's got man of the match tracks like Ronaldo. Bale. It's a very nice team. Chris in the Barcelona kit. Gorilla is in that lime green kit. Here we go. Gorilla got the ball with Griezmann here. He's going to shoot. He's going to score off the post this time and in the back of the net. 1-0. Chance. Oh, wow. That's come out of nowhere. It's 2-0 to a huge Gorilla. Neymar with a strike and the robotic celebration. Chance here for Gorilla. And it's 3-0. Neymar on the ball for Gorilla. Oh, we're about to see goal number four. Where's that? See a penalty. Oh, it is a penalty. Okay, chance for Gorilla to make it 4 0 against Chris. It's Neymar versus Van der Sar from the spot. He hits it, he wow. scores it. It's 4 0. Here's Ronaldo on the ball. Looking for Benzema. Chance for Chris to score. He's going to hit it. And he yes, has scored. Come on, that's one. Come on. Bottom corner, left foot strike from Benzema makes it 4 1. Di Maria. Rude Hullet. Hits it. Oh, oh wow. Van what Star. a strike. Oh, I'm going to get rid of him. He's going to see Van der Sar. And there's the final whistle, 5-1. Huge Gorilla against Chris. Got a complete battering off him, to be honest, uh, but it's one of those games where another day I might, might have beaten, so nothing I can do. Harry's team with uh, Hero Aguero, informed De Bruyne, Ronaldo, team of the year Modric, legend Effenberg, inform Handanovic. It's a nice, nice team. Here we go then, Harry is in the white kit and uh, Gorilla is in the purple. Let's go. Best for Gorilla. Finds Rooney. No, oh, do not oh wow. Last ditch defending worked out for Harry, but it could still be a goal. No, it's not. It's cleared. Goes round his man, does well. Ronaldo's got the strength. Whips it in. It's a good goal. Harry has gone 1 0 up against Huge Gorilla. Big, big goal from Rajan Angolan, the Belgian. If Harry can just get this half time break 1 0 up, he'll be feeling very good. But Gorilla will not give up until he gets a goal. He's going to get one here, and he does get one right before half time with Griezmann, and it's 1 0. Chance here. Oh, it's instant football. What a little ball that was through the middle. Neymar puts it away. Rooney. Neymar. Could it be three? Oh, it's great. Oh, it's really oh. good. Oh, and it's in. 
and it's 3-1. Harry perhaps a little bit unlucky there, but he's also been a little bit lucky in other times when Handanovic has made saves. So we're into injury time now. It looks like it's probably going to finish 3-1 to Gorilla. Or will it be four? Carl Walker on the ball here. Finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo, it could be, it could be. It's a save. Rebound oh. is in in the last seconds. 4-1 to Huge Gorilla against Harry. I invited the pressure on really and you can't do that against him. OK, guys, the games are done. Now it's time for me to chat with Spencer, get his opinion on the players he went up against. So first off, let's talk about Harry. You beat him 4-1. But he did take the lead against you. Didn't actually equalise until just before half time. So, what do you think of that game? Um, after the first goal, I thought I'd get one straight away, like I normally do. But it wasn't. Uh, it didn't go like that. Half time, nicked one back. So, I think after that, the pressure um, it was too much for him, and then I just capitalised on that. But he had a few good chances. If he took them, um, could have been a different game, I suppose. But yeah, he's a good player. Good player. Yeah. Okay, I'll bear that in mind for Harry. Uh, let's talk about Jack next. Now, this was your biggest margin of victory. You beat him six-one. Yeah. How did this game go for you? Um, it was an easy start with, but I took the, uh, the lead to make it 3-0. Um, he pulled one back half-time. Yep. Um, I think after that, the momentum was with him, but he didn't capitalise on that going into the second half. And I think uh, he just leaked goals from there onwards. Maybe um, he's one to have a look at closely and uh, see how he does. But yeah, I think it was uh, an easy game out of the lot. Easy game. To the others, yeah. Fair play, fair play. Uh, Greg, 4-0, you beat him. Uh, I think he saved a penalty as well. Could have been more goals, you hit the woodwork a lot. Uh, the first 10 minutes I was a bit slow as it was my first game of the day. I don't really want to use that as an excuse, but yeah, 10 minutes I think I should have had a goal. Um, I think Neuer saved me on that one. But um, like you said, hit the bar three times. Overall, could have been six or seven, but um, and he saved the penalty as well. Yeah, he did, yeah. But um, out of the lot, I think overall it was uh, the easiest game out of the lot. That was your easiest game? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's talk about Kieran. This was the only game you lost today, 4-3. Talk to me about it. It was a difficult game. Uh, every time I went into midfield, he always intercepted it. Um, it was a close game in some ways. The last 10 minutes was uh, very tight. I think it was three goals in the last six minutes. But yeah. uh, at the end of the day, you got to take your chances to, to win, and uh, he done that. But out of the lot, I would say he's not the best player. He's definitely like in the mix, but right. I wouldn't say uh, he's the best player. OK, we'll talk about Chris now. 5-1, uh, you beat him. How'd that go? Um, it was one of the easier games out of the lot. Um, he did read my uh, skills uh, in his area quite a lot, but I think I got lucky with one or two goals. But after that, I think um, I found the gaps and because he had to go attacking to get a goal. And I think it was an easy game, but I think he scored a goal with Benzema, which was a good goal. But yeah. I think overall, uh, out of the lot, I think he's, he's towards the bottom for that performance. OK, mate. Well, thank you very much for coming down and playing, everyone. Thank you. Great stuff as usual. I'm now going to go into the other room. I'm going to break the news and someone is going to be leaving the Spencer FC Game Academy. Right, guys. Well done for taking on Huge Gorilla. Not an easy task. Some of you did quite well, actually. I was surprised. Um, obviously, some of you didn't do as well. Now, I need to get rid of one of you here. It's not going to be an easy decision. Probably the hardest decision I've had to make so far. One of the slightly easier decisions, though, is going to be who definitely stays. And that's because only one of you was actually able to beat Huge Gorilla. And that was you, Kieran. Excellent stuff. Honestly, Kieran, you've done so well to beat Huge Gorilla. Only a handful of people in the world have ever done that. So enjoy that. And as a result, you are safe. So well done, Kieran. You can step back. Now, four of you left now. Um, two of you are going to be safe, not based on your performances against Huge Gorilla, based on your performances in previous episodes. Okay, two of you have outshone the other two a little bit more. And those two are Harry and Jack. Obviously, you've both got two final stages in previous episodes, so you've shown me what you can do. You weren't that great, I'll be honest, against Huge Gorilla, but it's very difficult to be. Jack, you actually lost by the biggest margin out of everyone. But um, I am going to send you through because of your past performances, so you can step back. And this is where it gets really hard for me. It leaves me with you, Chris, and you, Greg. I honestly, I'm, I'm actually making up this decision as I go along because it's so hard to tell between you both. Um, today, against Huge Gorilla, you got a goal, Chris, which gives you a slight one-upmanship over Greg, who didn't get a goal against him, so you've got that in your locker. It was 5-1 against Gorilla for you, and it was a 4-0 loss, obviously, for you, Greg. Uh, Greg, you also gave a penalty away, which, yes, you saved, which shows you can save penalties, but it also means the score could have been a lot worse. 4-0, you could argue, is flattering for you. Look at the other episodes. You two haven't had the benefit of playing each other, so I can't directly compare you. But um, Greg, when we played each other, uh, we drew. You had a 2-0 lead, which I came back from. You actually beat me, Chris, 
controversially some would say. I thought I was a better player, but you did get the win. Um, so you've got, again, a slightly better result there. However, in the last episode, in the Legends draft, Greg, you had an amazing comeback and you won that quarterfinal in sensational style against a top qualifier, Lewis. So I can't not think about that. I have to bear that in mind. Chris, you obviously lost your first game. You did end up knocking out Lewis, which also was impressive, but you did lose that first game. And it's the hardest decision I've had to make in this process, but we do have to lose someone. And the person I'm going to keep is the person that I think I had the most confidence in to win games for me if they represent me in my esports team. The person I think over a series of, of, of games has shown the better FIFA credentials. The person we are going to be saying goodbye to and the person that's going to be leaving the Spencer FC Game Academy is Greg. I'm sorry, Greg. It's a real shame to see you go. Great personality and you've been so unlucky to leave at this point because you've been putting some good performances together, but I have to lose someone and that person is going to be you, Greg. So best of luck in the future. Thank you so much for being part of the process, but we are going to have to say goodbye to you now from Spencer FC Game Academy. So guys, you are the final four. Congratulations. One of you will be winning the contract, being part of my esports team and all the other goodies. Next up, in the next episode, you're going to go head to head at a Play Like a Legend event where one of you will also get a chance to play in the event as well. So there's lots more to come. And like I say, one of you will be winning. I'll see you next time. Well done. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm leaving the Game Academy. Probably the best experience of my life. I've learned a lot. Now, hopefully I can take that, move forward and progress within the esports scene. So guys, Greg has gone. We've got just four people left in the Spencer FC Game Academy. And the next episode is going to be filmed here, live at the Gfinity Arena at season two of the Play Like a Legend Championships. Now, not only can you watch it play out live, you can actually have a say in who stays and who goes. We need your votes to help decide who gets eliminated. So make sure you tune in. You can watch it on the Xbox Live event player on your Xbox, which is a great way to watch it, full HD. And you can watch it on my channel, which is going to be streamed from as well. So make sure you tune in one of those two ways. It's going to happen this Saturday, and all the links you need are in the description. So hopefully we'll see you then. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you when you're older. Until then, don't go changing.